Hey guys, my name is Ash and I'm a photographer and content creator. So before we get started, today's video is brought to you by GPB South Africa. And if you don't know who they are, they're an all-in-one stop for all things photo, video, and batteries. You could use my discount code to get 5% of your next purchase. So if you live in South Africa or any place that has constant blackouts, you would know how frustrating it is, especially as a creator, to actually get anything done and meet deadlines. Now, one of the most frequent questions that I get asked is, how do I keep working, especially when there's three to four times of scheduled blackouts per day? And the answer is simply by having one of these guys here, which is a portable power station. So GPB have sent me the 400 watts unit to take a look at. So let's see what we have here. In the box we have the SA adapter and we also have the wall charging adapter. Now this unit features a lithium ion battery that offers a capacity of 378 watt hours. It also has a weighted power of 400 watts and 800 watts of surge power from the pure sine wave AC port. These units are also factory tested for up to 1000 cycles. This power bank weighs just under 7 kilograms, so it makes it perfect for using either at home, the office, or on location. GPB also make them in a 600, 1000, and 2000 watt unit, so no matter what your power need is, there's a unit designed for you. At the top left is where you plug in your wall charger. We also get a decently sized display which shows you both your input and output wattage as well as your battery percentage. We also get one USB Type-C port that offers up to 60 watts of power delivery. And we have three 12 watts USB Type-A ports. Under the AC output ports you have two plug points now these can be used to power up your 220 to 240 volt electronic equipment that are rated for 600 watts or less. Now this is the 12 volt DC power socket and the 5525 output port. The floodlight at the back has three different brightness settings and it also has an SOS light mode. On each side, there's an air vent to allow cooling of the device. Now here I have my camera connected to the Type-C PD power port. And now I have my gaming laptop plugged in. Now since I don't have any photo and video editing software opened, the wattage demand is quite low. Now if you're someone that loves working outdoors or you travel frequently, it's advised to get yourself a solar panel. They are sold separately and gives you up to 100 watts of power. And that brings about a quick end to this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, keep creating and see you soon.